Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Fishing Cats by Heidelbar Games. This is a two to six player game that takes roughly about 20 minutes to play and is for ages six and up. And in the game Fishing Cats, you are going to be a cat trying to collect fish. And how you'll do that is you're gonna have these little cat paws that you're gonna put on your finger here, and then you're gonna be swiping at these cards and dragging them over to your playing field. Your objective is to get two sets of fish. Uh, a set is three cards of the same type, and if you can get two sets of three types, that will end the round. And your main objective is to score paws, and paws are victory points, and when you get six of those, you'll win the game. You'll go from round to round, and rounds then when you get two sets, and everybody will score up their points, and up into the point where finally somebody gets their coveted sixth and final paw, winning the game Fish and Cats. This is a simple, family-friendly kid game. It's quick, it's an easy one. We'll cover it, and then you guys can decide whether you want to pick it up. I'll do my setup, how to play, and of course, Course, my review. To begin setup for fish and cats, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose a number of players playing the game. Each player is going to be getting one of these cards here, which is a player reference. It indicates the different types of fish in the deck, as well as how many paws you get for collecting that set of fish. The next thing you'll get is a kitty paw. You can select any of the six different types of kitty paws. They're all different. They're all basically just little gloves that you're going to put on your pointer finger. Once everybody has a card and a kitty paw, the only thing left to do is to shuffle the deck. If you are playing uh, your first time, you can take these squid cards out of the deck. There are four little squids and just simply set them aside. Shuffle the deck and then deal out number of players plus one cards face up right in the middle of the playing field so that everybody can see them. Thusly, in a six player game, you should have seven cards out, a deck of cards, and then little cat paws around the area in which players can grab when they score. Go ahead and put your little little paw on here, just like this, and then you're ready to begin the game. Fishing Cats is played in rounds, and rounds continue until somebody reaches two sets of three fish. When that happens, the round will end, scoring will begin, and then another round will continue. A round works like this. Everybody goes three, two, one, and on one, players will place their paw on one of the fish in the middle of the table. If your paw has another paw on that card, so if me and Bill had the same paw on the same card, that card is going to get discarded. So you'd never want to have the same, I mean, you don't want to ever have the same pick as somebody else. But if you put your paw on one that nobody put their paw on, you'll actually get that card and place it in your tableau. And that's how it's going to work for every single round. Basically, you're either going to get something or you're going to discard something. Finally, one player is going to go ahead and take the card closest to the deck here and discard that card. And then you'll just refill the rest of the cards in, uh, equaling the number of players plus one. And like I said, in this case here is going to be seven, so I have a six player game here. Then once again, three, two, one, placing your paw on the fish. And like I said, if somebody places their paw on the same fish that you did, that is going to go away. So you're always trying to get fish that nobody else has selected. And eventually what's going to happen is you'll get three eels and three puffer fishes or three mackerels and three trouts and that will end the round. And you'll score. And the way you score is by looking at the cards. Each card has a number of paw prints and if you completed the set, even if you weren't the one to finish by having two sets, you will score the points on here. And then you'll check to see, does anybody have six paw prints? If not, you'll discard all of the fish in front of all the players, as well as all the fish in front of the table, and I'll put all the cards into the discard pile. Then take the discard pile and shuffle that pile into the deck here. From there, you're once again going to begin the round by revealing the number of cards, uh, players plus one, and then you are going to start once again doing the same thing. Three, two, one, placing out your paws and hoping to get the fish for your sets in order to get those coveted six victory points. It's a simple little family-friendly game, but there you go, that's how it's played. What do I think about it? Just before we get into that though, I want to do a little caveat. And the caveat is going to explain the little tiny expansion. This is the squid expansion. Basically, you can add these four squids into the deck here if you would like. And if you do that, when the squids pop out and if you place your paw on it, and nobody else does, obviously, then you're gonna take the ability. This ability will let you take any one card from another player's tableau, meaning a fish that they've already gathered from a previous round, or that is currently taken on this round. So you're going to be able to decide what of the different fish that you want from other players, but there's only four of them in the deck. It's kind of a little bit more of a take that aspect, a little bit more involvement in the game. Nothing super complex and nothing a six-year-old can't figure out, but it is a pretty straightforward mechanic that adds a little twist to the game Fishing Cats, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Now, the game itself. 
This is a very straightforward, simple, family-friendly game. It's not a lot of complexity to it. It's not something that you're gonna have to have some deep strategy for. Typically speaking, you have kind of different options. The option is you can either try and gather the sets of fish that you want to score the points by the end of the round and hopefully end the round yourself with the most points. Or, um, or in addition to, you want to pick cards that players want to stop them from getting the bigger sets that you personally can't get. And what the trap is in this game is eventually players are all going to be fighting against each other, and the one cat that's sneaky is going to be slowly stealing the points of the lower fish, eventually getting sets that could potentially end the round. So you have to kind of be watching the other players. What do they want? Where are they going to place their cat paw? And making a decision. Now, this game is supposed to be played one, two, three, and then bam, at the same time. And if you don't play it that way, it's cheating. And I know a number of people, especially my little kid friends, that do kind of try and watch and see what you're going to pick before they choose. Uh, that's probably the one drawback to a game like this when you're playing with little kids is they're going to be gonna try to be a little sneaky and pick cards that players are obviously not going for and wait just a little bit longer. It's like rock, paper, scissors, but one person shoots on scissors and the other player shoots on the thing that exists after scissors, whatever that might be. Dynamite! And, and so that's the only issue with the game. It's minor though, and it plays really well. It's really fun. The beautiful artwork with all the different fish, they're fun, they're cartoony, they're family friendly. The cats are cute. The cat paws are exceptionally cute. Like <laughs> really fun little finger puppets that you feel like you're a little cat trying to paw these fish to take them. But other cats want the fish too. So the theme really works for the game. It's a light theme, it's a silly theme, and it's a family friendly, simple card game. If you're not looking for a simple family friendly little party game that plays well with kids, then Fish and Cats is probably not going to be for you. I can't think of a whole lot of negatives to this game. It's a pretty straightforward type of family-friendly game, and you're either going to be interested in something like this or not. If you love a cat theme and a fish theme and the cats pawing at the little fish and you like the cute little gloves, and you like the idea of gathering sets in pairs, or I should say sets in three of a kinds, then you're going to enjoy this game. The little additional expansion is fun. It's not needed, but if you don't mind a little extra take that, if your kids are okay with people taking their fish, obviously, because I know some little ones will have an issue with that. Maybe you set these aside for them. And with other players, you can take them out. It still does work great in a family-friendly experience or like a group full of friends. I played this with a bunch of adults first before even bothering to take it to kids. That's what I like to do with most of my kids' games is try them out and first experience it and see what type of experience it will bring to children. In this case, it was great. A lot of fun. Simple. Very easy to teach. Very easy to set up. Very easy to put back. Beautiful artwork and a fun theme. And if that's the type of game you're looking for, then Fish and Cats is definitely going to be up your alley. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Fish and Cats by Heidelbar Games. Another one of their games, a little bit of a larger one in this case, but a fun one regardless. They make some great family-friendly card games, and this is probably my favorite game of all of them so far. Even the more larger, more complicated, sophisticated, uh, pick one, I, I pick one you choose type of a thing. This one just, it always brought a lot of smiles and laughter and does a great job of that. If you appreciate our videos and you've seen more than one of them, perhaps you would consider subscribing, hit the subscribe button, maybe the bell notification button or like button. Mainly you can just comment, let me know, what do you think about a game like this? Would your kids enjoy it? I have a little one on the way. In fact, she is due in about a month or so from now, so I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna keep this one for her when she gets a little older because I think it'll be a fun one for us to play. Love it. Also, please consider watching our live stream. It's every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST because I said I have a little one coming. I'll probably be missing a few of them throughout the next weeks. I'll try and keep you informed on these videos and of course on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to gathering some fish with my cat with you next time.